Hi, if you've gotten this far, you've probably watched all the frequently asked questions stuff, which is good, but we're behind the scenes here at the firm because we want to give you the real inside scoop. These are the should ask questions. These are the questions that even our savviest clients don't know to ask. But we know as lawyers that focus our practice on trusted estates planning and do a lot of work for sophisticated families, the stuff that you don't know to ask, and that's what we're going to do right now. Welcome back to the should ask questions, the questions that sophisticated families don't even necessarily know that they should be asking. And a lot of times a sophisticated family estate plan will contain uh, various types of trusts designed to do various sorts of things, including, in many cases, save on federal estate taxes, inheritance taxes, or to protect assets from creditors' claims. Because these trusts are being asked to do a lot of different things, they're often fairly long and they often have very technical language. Why is that? Well, many times we try to use language which has been tested in court and is proven to protect so the language can be kind of unwieldy. So how do we make sure that the lawyer understands us and that we understand the documents? At the very outset, you need to pick counsel with whom you're comfortable communicating. You need to make sure that when they're asking your questions and you're, ask, and you're answering them, that you get them to repeat back what their understanding is so that when they draft that trust, it's designed to do exactly what you want. Now, there is a leap of faith here, and the only way to be certain is to probably have more than one attorney look at these documents and hopefully their opinion about exactly how they work will match up. But that's a very expensive process. So the key thing is to find somebody who's knowledgeable, who's sophisticated, who can explain sophisticated topics to you in a way that you understand. For example, just the other day, I had somebody tell me, I've had a Q-tip trust since I think they said 1981. And Dave, I never understood what a Q-tip trust was until just now. So here they'd had a technique that they had taken it on faith for decades as to what it did. Turns out it was exactly what he wanted and exactly what he needed. And maybe the lawyers did explain it, it had just been a long time and he'd forgotten. The key thing though is to make sure that you have a rapport with that advisor and that they're giving you information in a way that you understand and makes relatively certain that they're understanding you. I hope that helps. Thanks. If you liked that video, if you enjoyed it, if you found value in it, if it gave you information you didn't know about before, then you're gonna to wanna to see the other videos. We have some of the most frequently asked questions that clients ask lawyers on the topic of sophisticated estate planning and estate planning for families that have family-owned businesses and family-owned vacation homes. If you'd like a lot more, including the questions that you should be asking and maybe don't even know to ask, but that we as lawyers know you should be asking, then just sign up, click on the link below, and we're gonna send you a ton more videos, frequently asked questions that you need to know the answers to to succeed as a family in your sophisticated estate planning, and maybe more importantly, the should ask questions, the questions that you don't even know that you should be asking. Thanks again, click on that link and enjoy.